In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about privileges. Privileges allow you to add or remove certain sections of the Signage Studio so you can create areas where certain users can and cannot see. So first of all, let's go ahead and switch over here to Settings. And right now my privileges are selected. And I have my default privileges. And they're also named privileges. So first let's go ahead and double click on this to rename this. And I'll go ahead and call this Admin Rights. And the way I have it set up right now is that any user that is part of the admin rights privileges will be able to do anything he wants because you see that everything is selected. And that's fine. That's a good behavior since most likely that person is an admin. Now let's go ahead and add a new privileges group by clicking this plus sign. And I'll go ahead and double click on it and call it guest users. Now for my guest users, I want to set it up so they can only work on scenes and scenes are part of editors and so I'm going to go ahead and select the guest users and check everything off except the editors. And make sure that I click on this save checkbox right here on top. And let's go ahead and confirm that what I've set up works properly. So I'll switch to businesses. And under businesses, I have this user called test user. And I'll go ahead and give him the privileges of guest users. And make sure that you save your changes. That's really important. You got to click again this check right here to save everything. And once it's saved, I'm going to go ahead and select it and click on the launch studio. And as you can see, since I only gave this particular user the scene editor privileges, that's the only thing this particular user can see. He can browse around the different scenes and he can work with them, but he doesn't see anything else. He doesn't see the campaigns or stations or anything else in the signage studio. So now if we go back to settings and to privileges, of course, I can give this particular user more options. So for example, I will go ahead and give him the ability to work on the campaigns. But I also have the advanced options that allow me to select exactly what this particular person can do within the campaigns. So any person that is a member of the guest users will only be able to do the type of work that I allow him to within the campaign. And we have three columns here, the delete, add new, and update. If I take off the delete, for example, this particular user that's part of the guest users will not be able to delete any campaigns. If I take off the add new, he will not be able to add new campaigns. And if I take off the update, he will not be able to update any changes to the campaign. And one thing you should be aware of is that there is a relationship between the tables right here. So if you, for example, work with one particular table, and actually take off the option to update, you may also take off the option to update other areas of the campaign as well. And this is really more of an advanced feature. For the most part, we believe most people will either enable or disable the whole section. But you do have the option to go into finer details if you need to. Now, if you notice next to this admin rights, there is this key icon, and this means that by default, the admins are the default privileges that you're going to assign to a new user. Now, I don't want to give new users all this power, so I'm going to go and click on the guest users and click on this set as default icon and say yes. And now my default permission is going to be the guest users for new created users. Now, to confirm that these privileges are now the default, let's go ahead and switch back to businesses. Click on the plus sign to add a new user. And as you can see, now my default privilege are the guest users, just as I've selected. Now, I would like to know that when you're creating privileges, these are system-wide, meaning that you can assign these privileges to all the businesses that you are managing under your reseller account. So right now, we just demonstrated the test account that we saw earlier. If I move over here and click on my digital signage business, you see that again, I have the guest users and the admin rights just like I did with my test account. So again, privileges are system-wide and you can assign them to any type of business that you're managing. Now, what happens if we try and delete a set of privileges? So let's go ahead and try and do that. So if I switch back to settings 
and try and delete my guest users, the system tells me that I can't because these are my default. So I'll go ahead and set my admin to be the default. And I'll switch back to guest users and delete these pri privileges and say yes. And now if I switch back to my businesses, you'll notice that everybody now is receiving the default admin rights. Since we have set a default and we've deleted the guest users that are no longer available, every type of user that was assigned to the guest users will automatically be set back to the default privileges, which in this case are the admin rights privileges. And one last thing that I wanted to show you is that if I switch back to settings and to privileges, one common question we get from users is to enable or disable the ability of particular users to update remote stations. So if we go over here to advanced under stations, you see that we have the option to modify update stations on save. So you can enable or disable this for a particular privilege group. So privileges allow you to either hide or show certain areas of the application and create privilege groups so you can have further control on what each user in your system can and cannot do.